Hey everyone, this is Nikki DX Girlie. Welcome to my fifth channel, DX Girlie Likes BJDs, where I talk about my experiences with ball jointed dolls and other dolls. Um, so today, this is the first of two videos I'm going to upload because I got two dolls in today and I'm going to do um, a an unboxing video for each one rather than both together. Um, just because it, it makes more sense in my brain. <laughs> Anyways, um, so check out the other video that I'll be posting at the same time as this if you would like, or right after this, a couple of minutes after this, uh, if you'd like to see that video. So both of these dolls are from Lutz. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Lutz, but I have always said Lutz in my head. So uh, that's what I'm going to continue saying. I know that is probably horrible, but... Um, yeah, I can't, I can't undo that habit, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, this one is for my Lutz Kiddelf Peach. Um, she got here today from Denver Doll. Uh, I ordered her back on January 9th. And today is, I think it's May 20th or May 21st, something like that. And no, I think it's the 21st. I think it's May 21st. Um, or almost the 22nd because it's 10.45 p.m. Fun fact. Uh, if you couldn't tell, I'm even more of a hot mess than I usually am in my videos because it's been a rough day today. But I'm finally opening these girls, so I'm hoping they'll put me in a better mood before bed. Um, so yeah, this girl... It's been over four months since I ordered her. I'm excited to see what she looks like. When I bought her, she was intended to be a friend for my mini feet auntie um, that I had ordered just after Christmas. Um, and as you know, it went kind of crazy from there. Uh, I bought lots of new friends, <laughs> but um, I do have my auntie and she is naked. Yes, there shall be naked dolls in this video. Um, I brought her out just to do like a quick comparison once the kid delves out just for my own curiosity's sake too to see what their bodies compare like. Um, I'm planning, let me know if you think this is a good idea, I'm planning on once I get all of my MSD in, dep MSDs in which um, right now I have two A-line mini fees both with different bus sizes um, and a Supia doll double jointed body. And so I'm gonna get another Supia doll double jointed body. A doll leaves Yoko on the new body, I believe. I think it's called. Um, the Kid Delph, obviously. And I got that one on the multi body. And, um,. I got a mini fee Celine coming in on the Moe body and one more oh and a soul doll Juno coming in on the new renewal double jointed body yes okay so anyways what I was trying to get at is I'm planning on making a video once all the MSDs are here and kind of show you what they all look like lined up together um, just in case anyone was curious and thought about ordering any of them, I think they're all considered slim MSDs, but, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, you came here for a box opening, so I'm gonna give you a box opening. Sorry for blabbing for four minutes. So, let's get in here. And sorry in advance, I know I make very strange faces when I'm not talking while opening something. So sorry for that. I watch it back. And I just like cringe. I'm like, ah, why are you making those faces, Nikki? No one's ever complained to me, but I see them. Okay. So I did order um, two wigs with this kid doll. So let's hope they're in here. Or did Denver doll screw me over? Let's see, let's see. Well, the wigs are on my order slip here, which I won't show you because it has addresses. Here's Denver Doll's card. It 
and have the wigs in here. Did they seriously not put the wigs in? All right, let's see. Maybe they're in the box. Well, they're not in the packing box. So maybe they're in the Let's box. So this is what the Kid Delphs box looks like. I did order two Leak World wigs. So let's see if they put them on the inside. If they didn't, they will be getting an email from me as soon as I finish <laughs> this box opening. Come on. Okay, they did. They're in here. Yay! Okay, so, um, I ordered these two wigs from Leak World through them at the same time I ordered the Kid Delph. This one is called, I thought it was called Francie, maybe not. It's SR-020 in dark wine. I don't really, the, the Kid Delph Peach on the website had dark hair like this kind of, so I thought that might look good on her. And then I also got, basically the opposite kind of color. Um, oh yeah, that was called the Francie. So it's right there. Um, this one is the Rabia. Rabia. Um, ooh, it's a lot curlier than I was expecting. So, looks like this. Hopefully it looks cute on. I don't know. One is probably gonna go to my Doll Leaves Yoko because they are seven, eight wigs and that's what she takes and that's what the Kid Delph takes. So, smells really strongly of resin. Um, then there is this inside. Let's take a peek and see what's in here. So, I guess um, there's those, their COA are these little cards it feels like a credit card almost it has let's and it got the it got the it has the holographic little symbol right there um and it says certificate of ownership and it gives the serial number doll type kid delf peach so yeah that's her little coa let's see what is this um this looks, I don't know what this is. I don't know. Is this, what is this, Velcro? Why do I need Velcro? I think maybe some people Velcro wigs to their doll. I don't know, but it has Velcro right here. And uh, two little cards in there too. And then there is this, which I believe is just like a manual on the Kid Delph. Yeah, it's just like an instruction manual, kind of like what comes with the mini fee, which spoiler alert, I still haven't read the mini fees, just basic care and stuff like that. It does have English, so that's good. Tells you how to, how to use your doll. Okay, so, oh my gosh, it smells like, this is the most fragrant one I've had so far. Here's the box. So inside is this. I have no idea what that says. Okay, sorry. Wow, she smells strong. Okay, I'm sorry I keep saying that, but she smells strong. How do I get you out of here? Okay, so the pillows are attached to each other, so I'm just gonna reach in and grab her out. This was definitely a lot easier than unpacking my um, Supia doll, though no, not quite as easy as the mini fees. Whew. So she looks like this. Her face was not covered by anything. 
which is interesting. She's got black fuzzies all over her hands. So when I was ordering this body, I didn't really look at the measurements. I know, I didn't do my research. You're always supposed to do your research. If you don't have any BJDs yet, make sure you do your research. And um, she has a much thicker waist than what the mini fees have, or it looked so in the measurements. So here she is. I don't know how I feel about her face. You need to see it with a face up on it. She's definitely got a different look than what the mini fees have going on. And those eyes, wow, <laughs> they're like red. <laughs> so she, uh, I do have a pair of purple eyes for her. Um, so this girl, like I said, is on the multi-body. I think it's like, it's an extra charge. I'm forgetting how much. 70 maybe was it I forget but um, she's double jointed Let's See if I can get her to work I'm still a BJD newbie, so please forgive that She seems to be strung pretty tight. Okay, so there there's her double jointed hand She seemed like I said she seems to be strung pretty tight And there's her double jointed leg. Um, she is very um, smooth feeling. Like I've heard that um, Lutz uses really nice resin. It definitely, definitely smells um, strongly, but she definitely is like thicker, especially in the legs. Here, let me show you the comparison and she's thicker in the waist. So, see how much thicker she is in the waist? She is definitely thinner in the waist. So this girl is a lot, um, what did you call that, stockier. Her, she definitely doesn't have the waist to hip that this girl does and um, so yeah, I don't know if she's gonna fit in her clothes. Maybe the more, mm, like the, the the looser clothes they have for her. The feet are definitely bigger and like thicker legs, not as stylized of legs. She's definitely not as stylized as the mini feet and they're definitely different colors. <laughs> I don't know how much that comes across on camera, but this girl, is much more yellow, whereas this girl is more pink. I think it's kind of coming across as opposite on camera. But yeah, there they are. Um, I really hope that this girl can look great with a face up. Let me try her wig on her. Um, I'm not gonna do the eyes right now, just because they're in the other room. I'm gonna do a wine and dolly soonish and kind of give you updates about everyone. I might have to get a wig cap for this because it feels too big. Why did you say you have a, a seven eight wig if you fit into a six seven, girly? Huh? Oh my goodness. The only thing I like, I don't mind um, synthetic wigs, probably because I haven't had like a, a nice alpaca wig or anything, but they do get quite frizzy and like stray hairs going all over the place. So I need to trim the bangs a little, but that is her. This wig is like a reddish color, like a wine color. I think I like that one on her. She's gonna have purple eyes, not those red ones you got in there. Although I hope the 14 millimeters look good in you because those are looking awful big and like I can't see the whites of your eyes. So here's this lady. 
No idea what I'm gonna call her. Literally no idea. If you have a suggestion, please leave it below or DM me on Instagram, any of that good stuff. What is, oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought she had a bubble, right? Uh, where was it? Here, I was like, what is that? <laughs> but no, it's just to assist her joint. Um, so yeah, that is my Lutz Kid Delph Peach, who there are like no photos of this doll online, but I really liked her stock photo. Um, so we'll see what I'm able to do with her. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Oh, she sits nice. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, look forward to the next video where I take out the honey delf. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.